Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost uh, video. I was about to say banner video, not yet. Um, today's video, I want to talk about the 2.5 anniversary coming up, where the countdown has begun, so I kind of wanted to look back at the old. I know it says Dragalia Digest, trust me, it's the old one. Um, see, always, always leave a like. I don't comment though. I, pre I understand that there's some people who don't want to comment, I'm one of those people, but to those who do, I appreciate it. So anyway. Um, today's video, I just kind of want to look at the old 1.5 Anniversary Dragalia Digest and see what could potentially be coming up for what we could be doing. Obviously, there's some stuff I expect, such as a potential collab banner coming back later, at a later time, and, um, obviously a Gala Dragalia. But in terms of other stuff, I kind of want to see what, um, other things. This is also a good refresher. What else happened in the 1.5 year anniversary? So that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, comment, subscribe to me if you want some more uh, video stuff in general. I do stuff other than Dracalia, and that's bad if you do that on YouTube. It's a dying breed, but I do it regardless. So let's get into it. So first things first, I think the first thing they show is a new Gala banner who was Gala Alex and Gala Alex on release. I think Gala Alex is still pretty solid. Galax, Galaxy. Um, she's still pretty damn solid, but at her release, oh my god, she was nutso futso. And back then, we thought she would be, she was co the most complicated unit we had, and it turned out like, oh no, it's actually pretty simple. Once we got units that were like, by the way, do all this stuff, and then potentially you'll get this stuff, so. Who could potentially be the galley unit for... Um, this one coming up, I'm still under the impression, spoilers by the way, because it's always someone related to the story, I still have a pretty good feeling that it would be Gala not. Um, but depending on how the new story chapter kind of plays out, the part two of the story chapter will, I think, depend on who will get. It could be either her or the other dude who lives in that town who I can't remember the name now. Um, but he's the poster dude on chapter 17, the chapter previous to not uh, debuting. But I have a feeling it would be Gala not. That, it just feels like that's what they're building up to. Um, and in terms of color, I have no idea. <laughs> Wind? What color would even be? A light. It would have to be light because of the, it's either light or water based off of the new fight that we have. But they can't keep releasing limited light units. It's so... Here's the problem with light before we move on, by the way. Almost every good light unit is super crazy limited. Um, the Gala Prince, Gala Zena, Gala Luca. Thankfully, normal Luca ends up being better for the fight, I think. Um, but even going past her, we have the New Year's. Mitsuhiri is also limited and a light unit. Um, uh, I was about to call her Florida. I don't remember her name. The girl from Fire Emblem Heroes. Um... Also limited. All the light, all good light units are limited. Some of the best dragons for light: Galajean, uh, Thor, uh, <laughs> the giant fucking rat thing. They're all limited. We need more. Um, or the give mana spirals to light units that aren't limited. Something like that. It's kind of crazy. This is someone who has currently been also. Stop also giving light units these terrible fucking things to grind. Someone who's currently suffering through e tart grinding and. The other uh, new thing. I don't know what the... Lilith? Yeah, I guess just a Lilith. I don't know. But anyway, let's go on. Sinister Domain is too much to say, so I'll just say Lilith. So yeah, she was the Galadragalia. Okay, so let's look at some of the prizes here. I think we have all the minis, right? I think we could potentially get a new mini, but we have everyone, I think. No, I think we're actually missing Mini Jupiter, I think. I could actually just look this up, but I'm not going to. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I expect a new mini, a new ten. How um, will they give us a tenfold? They'll give us a tenfold. Will they give us a summon voucher? Okay, here's how I my current feelings on summon vouchers is that they're fucking useless and there's no real point to them. Um, that's it. Like that's really it, man. I have no idea why you would ever want to use a summon voucher for an adventure or a dragon if you're in my position, which has been being, playing the game since day one. I have no, I have no need for any of the summon voucher tickets. At least dragons, I can get um, fed dupes into potentially, but I think they need a reworking of the summon tickets personally. The tenfold is the tenfold. Don't change that. This worm print, the red impulse, is very good. 
If we get another worm print of this style, that would be amazing. Yeah, some blessed Ethan Ashes. I expect a full multi. I actually think that they could potentially go to... I think they actually could give way more Elder Water, because it's so important now, so I actually think 200,000 would be okay. Uh, and also give some um, some money and stuff. That would actually be pretty good. I would actually prefer money over the blessed Ethan Ashes, if I'm being honest. Ethan. Ethone. Ethan. And Wormind is fine, I guess, at one full multi. Asking for any more is a fool's errand with the way Dragalia is currently run, so I know better. So let's see. Two Platinum Showcases, I can see these coming back, but there's no way that they're just two. I don't think they'll do the thing again. I actually think, tell me what you think about this. I think there's enough galley units that they could do a um, choose your own um, gala ticket. Similar to the current ticket that we have, that you can select any unit in the game that you want and you can just have. Um, I think they could do the same for galley units. Um, probably price it maybe what 10 bucks more spitballing about the price i think it should be but that's the feedback i currently think other one because there's just too much now there's too many gala adventures there's too many gala dragons they have to let you pick one of them because like like if, for example me if i were to summon i already have gala luke i have gala i have literally everyone the only thing i would really want is to specifically pick someone at this point because there are gala units i'm missing now um gala gene is it really just Gala Jean? Gala Jean and the Gala sister that I'm not remembering the name of at the moment. Um, the one who comes with Cat Sith. How did I forget her? I keep wanting to call her Chloe, but Chloe is the name of my dog. How did I forget her fucking name? I went so hard on her banner too, I think. She really lost. Gala Shell. That's why I forgot her name. It's because it starts with. That's why I wanted to say Chloe. But anyway. I think they could totally do a select your own gala. Personally, I think that. I don't think it will happen. I think a platinum showcase will probably happen. One for dragons and one for adventurers. Even though I think that would, in technically speaking, be worst overall because there's too many options and if you have too many um, gala units on one side, it's lopsided. The chance of a dupe is too high. Make it a select and now we're talking. All right. You can earn up to 5,000 uh, Wormite by completing all endeavors, including clearing High Mitsu Midgar Soma. So I think this will probably come back with this time High Mercury, um, which is pretty good, I would say. Uh, I should just start. Yeah, I think the trials can come back. This were, these were actually pretty fun. I ended up doing a video for High Midgar Soma. I think it's actually easier now, but there's actually, I think, a decent amount of people who probably don't have the weapons and stuff and don't understand how the fight kind of works. Um, but we'll see about that. The, I forgot, this is so long ago. I think this is back when mentor bonuses were still a thing. Do you remember mentor bonuses? I don't anymore. So, the next resetting the social... Let's see. There was a big old picture or not. When you clear quests and co-op, I could see them resetting this again. That'd be fine. 2,500 Wormite? That's more than what Dragalia gives in a month now. Actually, that's not true. It's pretty close, actually. I think they could do this. They could totally do this. Uh, yes, here's the good shit. I think that they could go to quadruple and then add the Agidos. Because that's what happened for the two year anniversary. I think this will carry over and they will, triple drops will return for basically everything for all the good stuff. I think they could go to quadruple though. They asked too much. That's my current feeling. Uh, let's see, this is the brand new event. This was Scars of the Syndicate, which is why I don't have the music on for this specific video because I'm afraid of get out breakdown. Will get me copyright strike. <laughs> um, oh man, it's been a while since we've seen him. I would like to see him back. He's in the same background as the Mega Man one. Just to show you how much I've played with the Mega Man. So, they last time they announced new co abilities and chain co op abilities. So, I don't know if they'll be adding new mechanic stuff. It'd be pretty cool. Dragalia is not afraid of adding new stuff. Let me tell you, based off of the many, many new things they've added. But in terms of chain co op abilities and um, co abilities, I mean, it's possible. Um, what could they potentially add, though? that we don't, that we already have. I don't know, this would be pretty tough. I don't know what they would add, but that's why I'm also not really expecting it. It could happen though. 
This was fucking hard to explain. I remember this. It took a while to get people... So if you don't remember this before, um, your party didn't actually um, go into... When you did co-op, <laughs> when you played co-op in Dragalia in the past, um, the specific co-ability that would trigger would be um, based off of who that person was using. So if you did a team of four Gala Mims, only one of the co the co abilities would activate because the rest of them were basically a lancer so you couldn't get the the rest of them but then the change happened where it applied to your own specific team so that kind of allowed people to not be afraid to use four mims at one time someone uses in the bathroom that's okay i'm actually gonna pause damn it damn my family all right i'm back i really think Drake is gonna get heavy into donkey kong country too I think now's the time. A Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy Kong Quest, um, oh my bad, Diddy's Kong Quest would be a pretty good co collab, personally. Just kidding. Back to the event compendium. I can see some stuff being added to the event compendium, of course. This is some kind of basic stuff that they can add. Fafnir medals, god. I remember when people thought Fafnir medals were going to be useful, and then they never updated it. So... Um, I have a buttload of Fafnir medals that just never goes used, because why would I ever use them? There's nothing to use. I've used it on everything that is good. This needs an update as well, personally. It's not something that's like, oh my god, the game is ruined because Fafnir medals mean nothing. It, not really. They're still useful for new players, but for someone like me who's basically taking everything I could from Fafnir medals, I, I used to religiously make sure I get level 50. Now I don't. So, that's my current feelings on Fafnir medals. Future updates. I, I think, again, we should be seeing some future update stuff. This is when they debuted skills. God, I, I still don't like the way you get new skills. It really sucks. Anyway. I digress. Oh, man. So here's how... Here's something that I think they do need to kind of bo bo boost up. Based off of a lot of people realizing that who have posted like... Oh my god, I was able to auto-farm um, this brand new event, the brand new Lilith fight. And everyone going like, what the fuck, I used the same team, I didn't be, I wasn't able to beat it. And then they're like, by the way, I had every single weapon bonus possible. And it's like, what? You have to actually get these. <laughs> yeah, the weapon bonus isn't very good. Um, they require too much, man. They ask too much. They ask way too much, and I feel like it wasn't really a problem until it started getting into Lilith. But I guess they don't really see Lilith as a means to an end. Like, there's no real reason for you to go do Lilith. At least I don't think so. I mean, the Worm Prints are nice, but... Is that really gonna change the way I play Dragalia? I don't really think so. I'm already killing everything. Yeah, we'll probably see... Um, the next boss fight. It's very likely. This is where... I think this is where they debuted all of them, or was it just two? It was the Twins and... Um, I want to call her Celiara, but that's not her name. Bunny. The the bunny. Everyone's favorite bunny. And this is where they showed next stuff for the story. So I, I fully expect that to be more story stuff. Uh, here's a gift. And here was the final thing, which was the return of Fire, Fire Emblem Heroes. So... This is where I think I kind of digress from a little bit of people. People think that they'll probably come back because there's one more free unit that we need to get from Fire Emblem Heroes, which is Anna. Um, so they'll probably say like, oh, Fire Emblem Heroes is coming back for the third time. Um, I think that's totally possible. I think it's actually between, if a collab was gonna come back, I think it's one of two collabs. One of them is Fire Emblem Heroes, and the other one is Monster Hunter, and the reason I think Monster Hunter is because there's a brand new Switch game coming out, but I don't know how close we are from it being released on the Switch. I think the closer we get to the Switch release, we'll get a similar situation to the Persona 5 Scramble stuff. Um, but we will get the return of Monster Hunter, and considering that every single one of the Monster Hunter units has been immune to um, the effects of the brand new fight, the, 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 the Dominions, um, I wouldn't mind more Monster Hunter characters. I think everyone but Cerise could kind of use a Mana Spiral. They're really fun units, by the way. The only downfall of them is that there's just units that are better than them, but they're super fun. Their mechanics are super interesting and everything. 
the only issue I have with them is specifically only two. Hunter Cerise is still fantastic. It is unfair how much Hunter Cerise is better than the others. Um, the only thing I really have an issue with the other two is that they just got, you know, old. That happens. Though I will say with Vanessa, I think she kind of didn't really underwhelm. She was always super fun, but she never did as much damage as I thought she would. But Fire Emblem Heroes is also equally as likely to come back, probably finally giving a Mana Spiral to Krom. <laughs> when was the last Mana Spiral we got? It's been a long ass time, right? Hmm. I mean, it could happen. Um, but if there was going to be two returning, it'd be either Fire Emblem Heroes or it would be Monster Hunter. Uh, I think that's the most likely thing to happen. Mega Man is never coming back. If you did not play during the very, very bad Mega Man event, then you're just never going to see Mega Man again, I think. It would be kind of cool if they were to put Mega Man event into the compendium, actually, because there's clearly no way that they will ever bring back Mega Man and actually make him... If they want to bring back Mega Man banner and make a mana spiral that completely fixes Mega Man and then also include a fucking banner, because that was always the issue with the Mega Man event, is that there was only one Mega Man unit, so Mega Man had to carry the entire weight of the fucking collab on his shoulders, and his shoulders were not built to carry an entire event. Basically, everything they learned, the mistakes they learned from Mega Man, they carried on to Princess Connect, and Princess Connect was solid throughout. I feel that's... Uh, Mega Man walks so that Princess Pecoram could <laughs> run, gallop, and eat. But yeah, that's really it. In terms of anything else that could potentially be announced, I don't know really. If I'm being 100% honest, changes to the game could easily be coming. Quality of life updates, stuff to worm prints, hopefully stuff to rupees, the way we grind stuff. Um, added more space into the holodrome. Honestly, I feel like they want to do a full-on better version of the holodrome. I would be fully down for it at this point. Um, new ways to get the items that you get from uh, Morissette, because Morissette has a very special item that apparently you can only get there. I never do the event, <laughs> so I never noticed. Because one day I just woke up and was like, how come I can upgrade this, but it needs this like special rainbow thing? And then I was like, oh, you have to do this extremely annoying fight. I was like, I'm cool. Um, so yeah, I think that's everything that's coming out. I would kind of like it if they announced a brand new collab, but I think they save that for... If you have a brand new collab, I think they save it for its own special digest. Um, that or they save it for like a ten to three year at this point, um, which is totally possible. Or new year. Hmm. Anything's possible. Make it happen. The Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy's Conquest. Are you kidding me? I would love nothing more than a Manicaster Diddy Kong. Let's talk about it real quick before we end this video. Manicaster Diddy Kong. Um, Donkey Kong with a sword. I think that'd be pretty sick. Um, Lanky Kong Lance and it's just his fists as he goes forward. I think that'd be pretty good. Um, his four strike would also be... Mm, here's the thing. So obviously... Ah, uh, no, I feel like you have to add Dixie Kong. I feel like now, modern day Donkey Kong, you would add Donkey Kong as the free unit, Diddy Kong Banner, um, Dixie Kong, and maybe Cranky Kong? Maybe King K. Rool, but at the same time, King K. Rool would be the enemy. I love King K. Rool, but I think they see him more as a villain, which he is. But anyway, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. Um, you can always, again, share support by leaving a like, join... Join me? Join me, what? You can just- <laughs> You can, um, subscribe to me. There it is. I was about to say, join me makes it sound like I'm about to do some cult shit to you. It's not the case, I swear. Um, and until next time, everyone, I wish you guys a good day, and I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Peace out.